Hey out there, and welcome. I'm Kate, and I'm super glad that you're here. Today's practice is gonna be a quick 15 minute flow to get you out of your head, into your body, and back into your day. So you may want a couple of blocks, have those nearby. You probably won't need much else. Find a quiet spot, roll out your mat, and let's do this. Okay, so we are gonna get started in Downward Facing Dog. Let's get those legs and those shoulders warmed up and get moving. So go for it. <laughs> you can find your way through table first, walk your hands forward, spread your fingers, ooh, tuck your toes, and come on up. And take a few breaths here. We're not gonna rush past this, so can pedal out your feet, working gently side to side. Can let your hips add a little sway as you go. You got it. And while you're working those legs and just kind of let the lower half do its thing, focus on your hands, right? Feel where your four corners of your palms press into the floor. You've got those fingernail pads pressing down, triceps wrapped in. Bring yourself through center for a moment here. Feel your shoulder blades into your back. Stretch the sides of your body long. Oh, shake out your head. Then take your feet a little bit wider. Then hips distance. Come onto the balls of your feet and drop those puppies over to the right. Oh, feel your hips pull up and back. Come on up through center and drop over to the left. Same idea here. That right hip's going to pull up and back. Left one too. Inhale, come on up through center. When you exhale, lower your knees to the floor. Keep your toes tucked. Walk your hips back to your heels. Kind of like this midway child's pose type thing. Just feel your toes press gently into the floor. Work into your feet for just a second. Awesome. And then come back up through table. Inhale, arch your back. Take your gaze up. Exhale and round curl in. Two more of those, inhale. Maybe you're in a longer table from your down dog. It's totally fine, exhale and round. One more. And exhale, downward facing dog, pull it up. Draw back. Take your right leg, lift it up, stretch it back behind you, inhale. When you exhale, pull your knee up. Oh, step your foot forward. Drop that left knee to the mat. You can grab your blocks here, right? Take them underneath your fingertips. Sink your hips, lift your chest. Inhale, shoulder blades into your back. The weight of your hips sink down for another breath. Nice long sides of your neck. And then pull those hips back. Work into Ardha Hanuman. Sitting bones drop back behind you. Little half splits here. Work that right heel down into the floor. Gorgeous. Rock it forward. Press into your right foot. Inhale, reach up. Anjaneyasana, shoulders stay soft. Feel the sides of your body lengthen up through your ring fingers here. Inhale. When you exhale, take your left hand down. and It's gonna maybe hit the floor. Maybe you grab a block, fingertips there. Feel that right hip sink a little bit. Stretch up and over to the left. You got it. Press into the floor with that left hand or into the block. Lift your back knee. You're gonna take this right hand, draw it all the way through. As you go, pivot your feet. Take your right hand to your left leg. Wide leg fold. Right hand's gonna grab that left leg. Bring yourself into a twist. Soften your right knee. Feel your right shoulder start to pull underneath gently. Breathe. Release that. Walk your hands toward that right foot. Keep your back knee lifted here. Sink your hips. Stretch your chest forward. Block some of the fingertips if you want more space. Step it back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, rock forward. Find your plank. Exhale, lower your knees, untuck your toes, roll your thighs down, your hips down, elbows hug, shoulders relax away from your ears. Baby cobra, inhale, curl. Exhale, release. One more. Inhale, from the bottom up, curl. And release, press into your hands through table. Downward facing dog. 
Take your left leg, lift it up, stretch it back. Oh, step it forward. Fingertips to the floor, your blocks, sink your hips. Scissor through your inner thighs as you do lift your chest. Doing great, inhale. Ah, sink a little deeper on your exhale. Feel that right thigh draw down. Rock it forward or rock it back from here, right? Grab those blocks, Ardha Hanumanasana, a runner's lunge, sitting bones pull back. And draw your toes back toward your shin here. Sending some love into those hamstrings. <laughs> Bring it forward. Anjaneyasana, inhale, reach up. You got it, shoulder blades can pull down away from your ears. Keep that lift through your low belly, draw it in and up. And then take the block underneath your right hand, drop your fingertips onto the block or even onto the floor. Stretch up and reach over with that left hand and feel this right side just sink down. And then push the floor away with that right hand. Lift your back knee. We're gonna go for that spin. You ready? Sweep your left arm through. Grab for the outer edge of your right leg. When you get there, soften your left knee. Pull with your left hand, bend your left elbow, and press some weight into your upper back, like you could push your upper back toward your inner thigh. Big old stretch underneath that shoulder blade. Pause right there and breathe. Beautiful, release that twist. Walk it back to your left foot. Back knee stays lifted, feel your right thigh lift gently. Sink your hips, inhale. When you exhale, you're gonna step that right foot forward and fold, Uttanasana. Soften your knees if you need it. <sighs> inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Press into your feet. Come all the way up, Ordva Hastasana, and we're gonna go right back down. Exhale, soften those knees on the way down. Hands to your shins, halfway lift. And move back, downward facing dog. Plant your hands, walk it to the back. Gorgeous, take your right leg, lift it up, kick it back behind you, down dog split. When the exhale comes, step that foot up between your thumbs. Grab your blocks if you want them. Back knee's gonna stay up, sink your hips. Stretch your chest forward. Try to press evenly through both feet, right? That left heel's gonna reach back behind you. Inhale. Exhale, work to straighten those legs. Pull your hips back. Oh. Lengthen your spine. Take your gaze over your big toe. Exhale and fold. Rock forward on your inhale. Take the weight into your left hand. Sweep your right arm up. Inhale here. When you exhale, right hand's gonna reach forward and then windmill back. Bring it through that front leg, through your left arm, reach it toward your left leg. Back into the twist. Inhale, sweep your right arm forward. Open it up. Ah, gorgeous, here we go. Now you can take the block from out beneath that left hand, drop onto the outside edge of your left foot, and we can step the right foot into a modified side plank, step it back, or stack the feet. Whoa, press the floor away, inhale. Exhale, lift your right foot up, step it behind you. So you can take a seat all the way down, right arm reaches up and then back, Left hand's gonna grab for your right knee. Give yourself a twist as you lift through your chest. Extend some energy through your left heel. Inhale, left hand comes back to the mat. Press into your right foot, lift your hips. Come up through this modified version of our wild thing. Windmill it down through plank. Boom. Drop your knees, untuck your toes, thighs, hips, belly. Cobra here, Bhujangasana, inhale. Exhale, release it down. Baby Cobra, use those muscles in the back body. Inhale, curl it up. Exhale and release. Downward facing dog. Pull it back. 
The left leg's gonna lift, inhale. Exhale, step it up between those thumbs. Sink your hips, stretch your chest forward. Blocks if you want them. Inhale. When you exhale, press into that left foot. Work to straighten the legs. Oh, scissor through your inner thighs. <sighs> Inhale, lengthen your spine. Take your gaze toward the top of the mat. Exhale and fold it again. Rock forward on your inhale. Plant that right hand to the floor. Sweep your left arm up. Find your twist here. Left hand's gonna windmill toward the top of the mat, reach it forward, and then sweep it through that leg, through your arm, reach back toward that right leg. <sighs> Inhale, open it back up, find your twist. Moving into side plank here, drop onto the outside edge of your right foot. You can step the left foot back. You can stack your legs, one foot in front of the other, just press into the floor with that right hand, feel your right side body lift up. Lift that left foot gently, step it behind you, Take your butt to the floor. Right hand to that left knee. Left hand comes behind. Press to the top of that right thigh as you wring it out. Windmill it all the way back through. Right hand down. Press the floor away to lift your hips. Bring it through plank. And downward facing dog. Pull back. Gorgeous, going right into the next thing. Inhale, right leg's gonna lift. Exhale, step it forward. Crescent lunge this time. Rise up, inhale. Warrior two as you exhale. Straighten your front leg. Reach your right arm up and back. And then come out and over, keeping this right side nice and long. Front leg straight, Trikonasana, triangle pose. Let the sides of your neck lengthen, the sides of your body as well. Inhale. Exhale, windmill this left hand down. Take your right arm, reach it up. While you're here, drop your back knee. You can keep the twist or reach around toward that left foot. Take a little quad stretch here. Roll it open. And then release. Downward facing dog. Rock it forward, inhale. Knees down, those thighs drop, hips. Pause at your cobra, inhale, elbows in, legs strong. Exhale, lower it all the way down. Baby cobra, curl up, inhale. And release, press it back. One more little tiny bit, downward facing dog. Getting a lot into a little bit of time, left leg lifts up. Step it forward. Crescent lunge, reach up. Sink down as much as you can, press your feet into the floor, but draw energy up into your fingertips. Warrior two. Pause here for a moment, get your stance steady. Straighten your left leg, reach your left arm back. Oh, inhale, come on up, reach out and over. Trikonasana, you can take your hand to the Shin here, if you want to grab a block behind you, that always feels good. Oh, nice full breath. Inhale, windmill it down, right hand down, spin the left arm up, pause it here, and then lower that back knee. You can pause right here, or bend your right knee, grab for the outer edge of your foot with that left hand. And then windmill it down, step it back, downward facing dog. Drop those knees to the mat. Set your hips back on your heels. If this is uncomfortable, grab a block between your heels here, or you can sit in Sukhasana cross legs. All right, we're gonna take a second here. Eyes closed, hands resting on your lap. And slide that left hand to your right knee. You can keep your eyes closed. Take your right hand behind you. An easy twist here. Feel your chest lift, the crown of your head extend. Gaze over that right shoulder. 
When you exhale, right hand's gonna come around, find your other knee, curl your chin in toward your chest. Lift through your torso, right hand's gonna stay, left hand reaches behind, find your twist to the other side. Back through center, right or left arm's gonna cross. That'll curl in, chin to chest. Inhale, sweep your arms out, reach them up. Exhale, bring them down through center. Inhale, out and up. Exhale, down through center. One more, inhale, reach it up. Bring it down through the middle. Pause here, hands in Anjali Mudra right in front of your heart. Take a moment to breathe, to thank your body and your breath for moving through this quick flow today. Hope we got a little inner fire ignited. Do back into your body so you can get back into your day. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you taking the time. I look forward to practicing with you again soon. As always, the most supportive thing that you can do for me is comment or share with a friend or subscribe. So I look forward to practicing with you again soon. Perhaps I already said that, but I'll say it again. Make it a great day.